This video will cover everything you need to know about sequences in the shortest time possible. A link to the full GCC playlist is in the description. Let's get started. This first section will be a quick section. Find the next term in the following sequence. 5, 6, 8, 11, 15. Look at the difference between each pair of consecutive terms. Remember, each value of the sequence is known as a term. We can see that the pattern goes plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. So if we continue this pattern and add 5, we get 20 as our next term. Section 2. Finding a specific term or terms in a sequence. The next section deals with finding specific terms in a sequence. A sequence is formed by the rule 3n-1. What are the first five terms of the sequence? To solve problems like this, substitute the values 1 to 5 into n. So for 3n-1, if n equals 1, then 3 times 1 equals 3, and then taking away 1 gives us 2. When n equals 2, or the second term, we get 3 times 2 minus 1, which equals 5. We can continue this method of substituting in place of n to get the next three terms, 8, 11, and 14. We can extend this idea to find terms much deeper in the sequence. Take a look at this problem, for example. Find the 20th term of the sequence with general term 5n minus 18. As before, since it's the 20th term we're looking for, substitute 20 in place of n. We get 5 times 20, which is 100, and then subtracting the 18 gives us 82. Section 3. Finding the nth term of a linear sequence. The next section deals with finding the nth term of a linear sequence. Note that linear sequences are sometimes referred to as arithmetic sequences. The key idea here is that linear sequences always have the same difference between terms. For example, the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 has a common difference of 3 between terms, so it's a linear sequence. Right, onto a fundamental part of this video. The nth term of a linear sequence is always of the form a n plus b. Different textbooks will use different letters here, but that's not the important part. The key is knowing that the value in front of n is always the common difference and b is the difference between a and the first term. But, like with most cases, it's much easier to understand this with an example. Let's have a look. Find the nth term of the sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. First up, notice that each term has a common difference of 2. So, our nth term formula will start with 2n. Next, take this value away from our first term, which in this case is 3, and you get 1. So, that's the second part of our formula, and that's it. 2n plus 1 is our answer. What's quite useful is that you can easily check your answer by substituting any known n value into our formula. For example, our third term is 7. Let n equal 3 to represent our third term, and 2n plus 1 becomes 2 times 3 plus 1, which equals 7. A great way to help confirm you have the correct answer. Be sure to drop a like or comment on the video if it's been helpful so far. I'm told it helps the channel. Next up, find the nth term of the sequence 15, 11, 7, 3. This time the common difference is minus 4. So the value we put in front of n in our formula is minus 4. Next, take this away from our first term, but be careful here, it's 15 minus minus 4. This simplifies to 15 plus 4, and this gives us 19. So the nth term formula is minus 4n plus 19. So to summarize, find the common difference and put that number in front of n. Then take away the number you just found from the first term of the sequence and include that into the formula, and that's it. We'll do one last problem on this which extends the line of questioning. For the sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, find a, the nth term, b, the 50th term, and c, the first term greater than 1,000. As before, find the common difference. Here, it's 7. So our formula starts with 7n, and taking away 7 from 5 gives us the second half of our formula, minus 2. So the answer to part a is 7n minus 2. For part b, the 50th term, we simply substitute the value of 50 in place of n. We get 7 times 50 minus 2. 7 times 50 is 350, and then taking away 2 gives us 348. For part c, we require a new method that we haven't covered yet. We'll take our nth term formula, 7n minus 2, and put in greater than 1000. This is since we need to find the first n value, which is greater than 1000. Assuming that you're not multiplying or dividing by a negative number, you can treat the greater than sign as you would an equal sign. So we can rearrange to get 7n is greater than 1000 plus 2, and then divide by 7 to get n is greater than 1002 over 7. Popping this in a calculator gives us 143.142 and so on. Since n is a term in the sequence, it must be a whole number. For example, n can be 1 or 5 or 20, since we can have a 1st or 5th or 20th term, but we couldn't have a 1.5th term, it has to be a whole number. So, n is greater than 143.142, and is a whole number. The first possible answer will be the number 144. So, the first term that is over 1000 is the 144th term, and if we substitute this value into our nth term formula, we get 1006, indeed over 1000. Section 4, Special Sequences. There are a handful of special sequences that are worth remembering. It is possible for any of these to show up in an exam. Learn these ones. The sequence of even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, has the nth term 2n. 
The sequence of odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, has the nth term 2n minus 1. We should also be able to recognize the sequence of prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. The sequence of Fibonacci numbers, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, is a sequence where each term is a sum of the previous two terms. The square numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 have nth term n squared. The sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 follows a similar pattern to the first question covered in this video, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, etc. But this is a special case called triangular numbers. It's a sequence where the numbers are represented in the form of an equilateral triangle. The graphic on screen shows how each additional row is added. Section 5. Geometric sequences. A geometric sequence is a sequence that progresses by multiplying or dividing each term by the same number, known as a common ratio. The thing to remember is the general term, a times r to the power of n minus 1. a is the first term and r is the multiplier. The reason we use n minus 1 as a power is since for the first term, when n equals 1, the expression becomes a times r to the 0, which is just a, since anything to the power of 0 is 1. Here are some questions involving geometric sequences. First up, work out the first five terms of a sequence with the following nth term, 5 times 3 to the power of n minus 1. So start with the first term, let n equal 1. This will always simplify to the a component, which in this case is 5. Then the second term, where n equals 2, will be 5 times 3 to the power of 2 minus 1. This simplifies to 5 times 3, since 3 to the 1 is just 3, and gives us a second term value of 15. You can see that the common ratio going forward will be to keep on multiplying by 3. So the following three terms will be 45, 135, and 405. You can also check these by substituting 3, 4, and 5 into the original nth term formula, but it's definitely not necessary. The next type of question deals with working out the nth term. Try it for the following geometric sequence. 2, 10, 50, 250, 1250. The first term is 2, so we can start there, and then we can see that the common ratio is 5, since each term is the previous one multiplied by 5. Therefore, the r value is 5, and we put the usual n minus 1 as the power. The final question of this section extends the last idea slightly. Work out the nth term of the following geometric sequence. 14, 28, 56, 112, 224. As usual, start with the first term, 14, and multiply it by the common ratio, in this case, 2. So the initial nth term expression can be given by 14 times 2 to the n minus 1. But since 14 is a multiple of 2, it can be written as 7 times 2. So simplifying this complete expression with the help of index laws gives us 7 times 2 to the n. I hope this was helpful. I'll be continuing to upload the entire GCSE Maths course as a series of easy-to-follow videos. Be sure to subscribe to stay informed. Thanks for watching.